great thing is, I mean, there's 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 an overall battle about five of you guys, which is great. We need some more guys jumping in. You now Stacy says, hey, when I get back, I'm owning that thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Show me, don't tell me. Mm -hmm. Pepperdine men's basketball tips off November 14th with the home game against Fresno State. We sat down with Coach Marty Wilson and junior forward Stacy Davis to talk about the upcoming season. I don't know what it is, but it seems like this preseason has lasted a little longer than mo than most. Um, so um, I'm definitely excited. I'm excited to get you know my cast off my arm. I'm excited to get out there with the fellas. I'm excited to just start the season over again, fresh start, and I'm excited to do big things for Pepperdine and just you know kind of like shock the world. It's 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 been great coaching these guys. Uh, obviously, we haven't played yet, but having so many young guys, but guys that are that are eager to learn, eager to get better, and then having a couple of veterans and Stacy and Jet uh, Teeth that have been through some of the ups and downs that can help these young guys continue to get better, um, work on things, and teach them some things that, that some of the mistakes. Hey, you're gonna, this is gonna happen, this is how you handle it. Uh, I mean, it's been great. Uh, for, for us as a staff, we enjoy being around our guys. So that's half the battle. When you, when you genuinely like your guys, you wanna come to work excited every day, and we have. The Waves add seven newcomers to their roster, and with hard work and determination, they are ready for the best season yet. We're very cool. We're, it's like a, you know, it's 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 really mu it's pretty much a big family. You know, we're all brothers. We all look out for each other. If anybody ever needs anything, everybody's there for them. If they need somebody to talk to, anybody's there for them. And I think that's going to translate well to being on the court. Uh, just for the simple fact of, if you're doing something off the court and you you make it make it a habit, then it's just going to be innate when you're on the court that you're going to look out for your brother and you're going to make sure that your brother's doing the right thing and you're not going to, you know, you're going to have enough confidence in yourself and in the relationship that you guys have that you can challenge your brother at, at certain times, whether it be, you know, shooting him out because he forgot a player or something like that, or, you know, whatever it may be. But, um, you know, I definitely think we're gelling and it's going to be a fun season. I'm excited to, you know, go out there and play with them, every single one of them. After finishing fifth last year in the WCC standings, the team is looking at the past season as a stepping stone to get better and to finish stronger. <laughs> Uh, part of it is the, the character of the, of the kids. Um, they, 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 they generally appreciate each other. They like being around each other. Uh, they, they listen to each other, even though they're challenging and competing against each other. Uh, they want to succeed. They want to help our basketball program continue to rise. And uh, I think they, they, they understand the passion that I have as a former uh, Pepperdine Wave, former player, and they understand where that passion comes from because I have great pride in Pepperdine basketball. And uh, I think they know that they want to have that same pride when they, when they leave here. And for Davis, a preseason All-WCC first team selection, his goal is to be the best leader he can be to his teammates. Expectations for myself, um, well, you know, I kind of, I try to set the bar pretty high for myself just, you know, every single year. So I have, you know, goals and aspirations to get to. But one of the biggest things for me this year would definitely be just being the best leader I can to the guys. You know, I'm definitely going to be in this position for two more years. And I just want to, you know, make sure I am the best leader I can be to, you know, the other guys, the younger guys. And I teach them things that they'll carry with them for when I graduate and they'll continue and keep it within the program. So. The biggest thing for me is definitely being a better leader, um, you know, doing that, handling my composure, um, being a better teammate. You can always improve on being a better teammate. This year is going to be different just because we're more athletic than we have been um, in past years. We're more athletic, we're more defensive minded, we're more cohesive as a unit. You know what, I, I don't worry about what people rank us because most of those are, are, are wrong. I said we proved that last year but we have to go out and prove it. It doesn't matter, it, the, uh, being on paper doesn't mean anything. Uh, we have to go out every day, continue to get better. We have to go out and, and, and prove those people wrong. Hard work on three, one, two, three, hard work. Good.